What's going on everybody, Dogman Dan here. We are in Warframe and we are talking about the Kastanas today. Yes, the Kastanas. I didn't really spend a lot of time on this back in Update 12. There were so many other things going on uh, that I kind of just leveled it up and I pushed it to the side. I did get a message in-game. I think it was from Creeper Death. I don't exactly know his full uh, user name. I can't remember. Um, but he asked me to take a look at it again. So I went ahead and I uh, grabbed them and I took a look at them. And so this is going to be a little build guide from how I want to play them, how I run them. Um, I've got no Forma in this. I could put Forma in this to level up one of the mods in here, as we'll talk about. But for now, it's a straight no Forma build, and this thing rocks uh, as it is. So let's just talk about this stuff here. Um, some basic stuff on the Kastanas, your basic setup here. It's uh, elemental, electricity, 100 damage base. Uh, accuracy is 100%, fire rate is 5 Critical is pretty low at 1.5 times 5%. Status chance is only 10%, but we can work with that. Um, magazine is 2, reload is 1 uh, on this weapon. So some nice things to talk about that you may or may not be aware of with this weapon is with the electricity damage, it has a 100% chance to proc with that electricity, and that is going to be regardless of what mods we put on here and what elements we put on here. Okay, so that electricity is always going to be there as a base, no matter what we do to this weapon. You're always going to have that 100% proc chance, which means you're going to chain attack. If there's anything close to the enemy, they're all going to chain with the electricity. And you're also going to stun any enemies that don't die. So this is a really nice setup, just as a base on here. Um, it's silent, no matter what you do. You can have up to six charges, but... Um, be aware multi-shot is going to actually count towards those six charges so having multi-shot on here is going to actually lower the chance to put out six of these and we'll talk a little bit more about that with my build how I've got it set up and why I set it up anyway with the multi-shot um, you're going to shoot it with your left mouse you're going to detonate it with your right mouse so it's manual detonation so you have a chance to drop it wherever you want and detonate it when you're ready to detonate it which is a really nice thing okay so let's talk about my build and how I've got this thing set up here. So what I did is I went with a radiation uh, and viral combo with this, of course with the electrical, uh, as we talked about a second ago. So I've got a 2082.1 radiation, an 1135.7 viral, 92.6 accuracy, so I brought that down a little bit, but that's okay. My fire rate went up to 8. Um, 1.5 times 5% critical, I didn't even touch it. I've got a really nice status chance in here, 60.1. Magazine is still 2, Reload is a 1.0, Conclave is now a 316 on this weapon. Um, let's talk about the basics and how I got this set up. So Max Hornet Strike is going to be important on this one. Uh, no matter what you do, you want to get a 220% base damage increase off that original 100% electrical, or 100 electrical, so that's always a good thing. Uh, and then I'm actually going to use the multi-shots. I'm going to use the Barrel Diffusion multi-shot. And I'm going to use the Lethal Torrent multi-shot. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because they essentially will bring up my base damage calculation. Though, I know that I realistically at this point can't have more than two Kastanas out at one time. Two uh, charges out there at one time as a result because these are calculated into that six. So I'm not worried about it. This thing is ammo efficient anyway. Uh, with the build as I got it set up with the electricity, the radiation, and the viral. This thing is so damaging that it pretty much kills them right away anyway. So we're all good to go with that, and I'm going to keep this as base damage increase. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to go ahead, <coughs> excuse me, use Pistol Pestilence. It's going to give me my 60% poison damage and 60% status chance increase. And I'm going to use Deep Freeze with that, which is going to give me a 60% uh, extra freeze damage increase. Combining that together is going to give me my Viral, and at a 60% um, proccing chance, so pretty much one out of two of these that I throw out will have that proccing. Uh, it's going to reduce max health, so once these, once this thing blows up, it's going to pretty much take all their health away, give or take, and it's going to kill them. Uh, and if they're not dead, the radiation that we're going to talk about here in a second is going to help by confusing them, and they're going to fire upon each other as a result if they're not dead. So the higher level guys... Um, and you get higher level up, this could actually be good if you don't kill them initially. They could take radiation uh, damage, get confused, and shoot upon each other, and that'll help you out. So, how are we doing that? Real simple. We're going to go ahead and use the Jolt mod. 
Uh, if you don't have Jolt, you can go ahead and put uh, Convulsion on here. But I'm going to use the Jolt mod, getting my electricity damage and more status chance. And I'm going to use Scorch um, to get fire damage and status chance. And those two combined are going to give me my really, really high radiation uh, on this weapon. Okay, and that's going to combine with the base electricity, of course, because we've got electricity into the radiation, which is why the radiation is such high number on my build versus the viral. But the combination together is pretty much going to let you run any level that you want with just this thing. Uh, but keep in mind, you can blow yourself up, as I have a few times in the past, similar to like Penta to the Angstrom, that type of stuff. You can blow yourself up, so just some FYI. So the last thing I'm going to do with this is I had some space left, so I went ahead and I threw a Magnum Force on here. I did a little increase in my base damage here, another 18%. I'm going to lose some accuracy, but that's okay. Um, as you can see, I'm only at level 6 on this. If I formed this weapon, I could add more levels to that, increase the base damage, lose some accuracy. It's not going to matter. We're still going to have a superior accuracy level with this weapon, and um, you're going to just enjoy it even more. Okay, so... Here's the final build that I've got currently set up. Again, one former in there would give me some more in room on the Magnum Force, and I may do that uh, down the, the road, but uh, this is how I've got it set up here. So, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Uh, if you like this video, please do hit that like button for me. It's most appreciated. If you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and uh, share this with your friends. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next episodes. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you soon.